people are back again for help. You got your uh, trusty mad scientist here. <laughs> Jimmy Photon with yet another episode of Stupid Battle Tricks. Today's lovely installment. It's not boxed, it's brandy new. Probably been done a million times. I call it the Stupid Simple Overdrive. It's a single freaking chip, a couple of parts. No knobs. Sounds good. It's on the breadboard right now. I'll lift up the circuit so you can see it. That's it. There's four wires going in and out. Uh, in, out, power, and ground. Uh, the whole thing's built on the back of a... Uh, uh, IC socket so it's for me it's really small it's going to be going into a little box about this big about half the size of like a distortion plus there's just barely enough room to fit the stuff inside I'm looking forward to putting some more things on my pedal board so um, joy a box of semiconductors just fell over yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is good. <laughs> Don't get no better. It's a... Uh, uh, playing through my, my twin. This is direct through the thing. I don't have a bypass. It's my volume's down. Turn on Rob's Chasm Reverb. Give it a little juice. ghostly anymore. Yeah, close. I'll turn it real wet. Turn the oscillator off. About 50-50. Nice clean tone, huh? I'll turn the reverb down a little bit. It's actually with the uh, the stupid simple overdrive on. It cleans up beautifully. Gives you a real nice crunch. A little less reverb. pickup sounds like itself. It's neck. Bridge. Oops. Middle. in middle.
neck and middle. All three. Couple mid range. No knobs, you don't need them. It's just a. Stupid simple overdrive. Basically, it's like you got a single op amp chip, eight pins. I used a NE5534 because I got a million of the freaking things. Um, there's a one meg resistor from pin six, which is the output going back to pin two, which is the inverting input of the thing. You got a nine volt B plus going to pin seven. You use a voltage divider, 10K, off of the B+, plus, uh, with the bottom of it grounded in the junction of the two 10Ks. You take that, and you feed that to uh, pin 3. There's a uh, 100 picofarad cap from pin 3 to ground. 4 is grounded. Uh... Inputs a 047 cap through a 10k resistor to pin two. There's a 4.7 meg. Uh, I'm one of them is a anti pop resistor. There's not even one on the one that I just was just playing through. I haven't bothered. I'll put it on the switch if I need it. Um, the outputs through a 10k resistor to a 47, uh, excuse me, a 0.47, a 470 nanofarad or a 0.47 microfarad cap. And then you got an asymmetrical clipper with a pair of uh, 1N914s or 4148s, whatever you got kicking around on one side and a single one on the other going to ground, just a standard diode clipper. And uh, I think the thing sounds really good. Yeah, playing a strat with fluorescent lights in front of a computer with this thing on a breadboard. But I'm not getting any noise, hardly at all. It sounds pretty good through like a patch with some hair on it too, so we'll put it on uh, this one here. Picking up the noise now for the uh
Uh oh. Damn digital lamp, I'm lost now. Better find my way back to my twin. There we go. Of course, you might want to add some power supply filtering and all that kind of crap to it to, uh, you know, hush it down a little bit. You might want to add a volume pot at the end, like a 10K or a 50K pot should be fine. Uh, anyways, that's the stupid simple overdrive. Ooh, YouTube's going to tell me my video is shaky. There, did you get a screenshot yet? I'll try and stop moving. Woohoo! Anyways, uh, see you next time. Peace.